How do we describe and share our views of the places we live? Through the works in this exhibition, we move from intimate space to vast space, from micro to macro, considering the many ways that artists relay their interpretations of the natural world, our place in it, and its place in us. How we see ourselves as humans in relation to not only each other, but to all living things impacts how we consider our responsibilities and roles in our respective ecosystems. Vanessa Andriotti, a member of the Gesturing Towards Decolonial Futures Collective, shares thoughts on this idea in relation to how their group positions their work. Quote, the land is a living entity. It is a metabolism too, that is alive, that dreams through us. She goes on to say, we tend to see ourselves reflected in the land rather than the land reflected in us. The shift proposed here is to see ourselves as an extension of the land rather than seeing the land as an extension of us. With these thoughts in mind, we invite you to move through the three sections of the exhibition and look closely to experience works that feature insects and bugs and the expansive ecosystems that exist all around us but are hidden or out of sight. Look around and set your gaze outward at the vast landscapes, mountains and waterways that support an immense amount of life in all forms. Look up to the sky, the stars, planets, the vast cosmos that hold so much mystery and magic, the stuff of myths, legends, and imagination. Look around, water flows beyond the sky and earth, mountains appear between being and non-being. Here in the westernmost region of this continent, we are fortunate to live in a place surrounded by mountains and water, where all we have to do is to look around us to feel the pulse of nature. Mountains and waterways are subjects that uh, throughout history and in current times have inspired artists from all reaches of this planet. In some Asian cultures, the term mountains and water is used to describe the style of painting dedicated to landscapes, in contrast to works that faithfully document a site or a place, as might be seen in Western paintings. What is rendered in Asian landscape painting from China or Japan, for example, is often more of an impression or feeling of the landscape an idea or attitude toward life. This section highlights landscapes from different time periods and geographies in a range of media. You are invited here to enjoy the mountains and water and all of the other elements of nature as seen, felt, or imagined. Look up. The cosmos have been one of our grandest inspirations throughout human history in creation stories, poetry, literature, and art. Every culture, nation, and peoples have a relationship to the sky and what lies beyond, with different explanations for cosmic events and versions of star stories. To look up towards the night sky and contemplate where and why we are is one of the most deeply felt human behaviors that has taken place across the world through time. Thinking on a macro scale, one of the places we live is in the universe, and within that universe, we live in the Milky Way galaxy, which has many other names across the globe. It is daunting and difficult to think about our role within such a vast galaxy, let alone the entire universe. The art in this section explores human relationships and perceptions of space and what we can see in the sky from Earth. Artists in this section demonstrate the continued and timeless fascination with the sky a subject that has always captured the human imagination. Look closely. Bugs are an essential part of our finely tuned ecosystems, acting as tiny and quiet caretakers of the places we live. Although at times insects and arachnids are perce perceived as creepy or as a hindrance in our lives, they each serve a purpose and play an important role in the maintenance of our planet's health. A spider spins a web ensuring other insects don't proliferate too far. Bees, moths, and butterflies are important pollinators that keep our plant life thriving 
and even the loathed mosquito serves a purpose, often as a food source for other insects and animals. We are all connected, even to our arthropod relatives. With that in mind, this portion of the exhibition explores the lives of insects and arachnids, small and easy to miss, but enormously important to the vitality and health of the world. Bugs have been depicted by artists for millennia, and these artworks allow us to enjoy an intimacy with bugs in their spaces and to appreciate the integral roles they play in the grander scheme of where we live. Artists featured in this exhibition include Doug Cranmer, Gordon Smith, Patricia Kathleen Irwin, Sandra Meigs, Wassily Kadinsky, Maxwell Bates, Patrick Amos, Ted Harrison, Francis Stick, Nora Blank, and more.